Last night, a post on the app struck me, and I wanted to do a video this morning, our first actual video on the Pros channel, but I wanted to do it by getting right to it and uh, reading this post that really, uh, you know, sometimes you read those poems or those, those paragraphs or those pages, or sometimes an entire novel, and it just it has everything. It lifts you, it drops you, it soothes you, it, it, uh, it disturbs you. And it brings you back, and it also kind of keeps you present, and, and it keeps your mind on what's important to you. And this, to me, was just a beautiful short poem by one of my favorite writers on the app, well, one of our favorite writers on the app, I should say. There are so many, and I can't wait to start featuring them and hopefully interviewing them, bring them in for a Zoom or whatever it's called, interview podcast style maybe, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. But anyway, um, okay, posts. And we're going to search. And all you have to do here is just type in the first couple letters of the writer you want to find. And there she is. Just amazing. Okay, here we go. Ah, this struck me in a really cool way. And, you know, I woke up this morning and I read it again. And I thought, wow, this still, this still holds its mud with me. So this is K.M. Cassidy, and she's a really, I mean, oof, the talent in this mind. So here we go. Um, cigarettes in autumn. It feels like fall. I sit outside in the cool air and smoke, inhaling deeply. It's the only time I feel young again. I miss the feeling of possibility of strangers in dark streets, like anything could happen when the night was young at 11 p.m. They say it's bad for you, I know. But when I breathe in, I feel the buzz of youth and infinity, the feeling like I'm untouchable. Yeah, I mean, I haven't smoked in years, but this brought me back to being, you know, young, traveling, waking up, gas station, Hangover, black coffee, you know, cigarette, watching the mountain. And you could almost hear the sunrise kind of crackling or the moonrise, but depending on where you were and what you got into. But what a great, 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 great piece this is. Let's see what the comments say here. Uh, I didn't read these last night. Jim Lamb, another, another great, uh, great writer. He's a, uh, He's also a, he's a long time proser, I guess. I think that's the, one of my favorite words. I covered that in the first video I did, this, just the audio. But he said, you've captured something special. The feeling of possibility. Love it. Absolutely. And humble as she is, she appreciates it. And uh, Fudo said smoky, which, <laughs> yeah, smells great. Ha ha. Good. And then Led Levy. Now this guy, um, this profile, let's check him out. This, I always love reading this guy. I always have. Let's see. Yeah. Look at this one. Wow. Look at this one. Ink and blood. Oh, I already hooked me in. Let's see. Happiness for me is always like a spoonful of sugar with the bitterness, wait, sorry. Happiness for me is always like a spoonful of sugar with the bitterest, that's, I've never read that, I've never said that word out loud. That's funny. To me it is. Okay. Ink and blood. Happiness for me is always like a spoonful of sugar with the bitterest pill to follow. It's fool's gold covering a jagged black stone, a stack of counterfeit money. The sun rising into storm clouds. Sometimes the pain comes right away, like a tidal wave crashing into the shore. Other times it's more like a disease, one that kills slowly, taking one faculty at a time, until all that is left is the memory of a ghost. Lines of painted poetry, dripping with ink and blood. <sighs> okay. <laughs> wow. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm going to link these two uh, writers in the description. I, I'm just gonna in fact I'm gonna save this right now, and I'm gonna go to open link in new tab, and I'm gonna go back to to KM Cassidy, and I'm going to leave that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there, and I'll just do a. I'll copy this and I'll paste it. So, getting back to the app, this is, I just this is just the coolest app I think, and I think though, um, one day I'll be able to really when I get familiar with how to do a, a video and I can show my ugly mug and go back and forth and do the switches and music and angles. I will do that for this channel, but right now I wanted to kind of break the ice here with a with a with video and audio. And okay, let's see. Look at this. Look at these portals. How cool is this? So you can do I mean all this stuff, poetry and free verse, fiction. Let's see stream of consciousness. I love this uh this portal. I think a cool feature would be pick a portal and just exploit that portal, just explore it as well. And just completely, uh, let's see, yeah. I mean, I love this, I love this user too, Esther Flowers. She is, I was awesome, awesome writer. Let's see, Huckleberry Who, yeah, <laughs> this guy, yeah, he's always so much fun to, uh, there are so many great writers on here. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And there, there are writers of all, from all echelons, there, there's a, novices, experts, professionals, journalists, uh, old novelists like me, you know, uh, so on and so on, old poets like me too. It's just, uh, it's crazy how, how much you can find on here. Let's see, let's go to authors and let's go to most popular. Now, yeah, yeah, here we go. Now all of these writers are, they're just, they're, they're amazing. They're so fun to read. Um, bunny, bunny, yeah, bunny rules. Hey, finder, penny skies, penny skies is also incredible. Dave K, this guy is, uh, yeah, he's something else. Who else do we have? Let's see. Um, oh, this guy right here. I love our love 327. I, I always, uh, I always, uh, whenever he's, on the app, I'll see a post from him. I will always go right to his profile to see if there are any I missed. I have read every one of these. He writes beautiful, beautiful fiction, long form, just amazing. And I think he also has a, let's see, I think he also has a uh, a website. Yeah, he does. So you can go to go to here. And one day, I'm going to revisit this and spend, spend some time on his site. Um, He's just... Uh, He's, he's the real deal. Well, they all are. They all are. They're just, they're, you'll see. Well, if you haven't already, if you're not, if you're new to the app, you'll see. You'll have fun. We have so much ahead of us, by the way. Um, and we brought the challenges back. So, well, we've always had the challenges, but we brought this one back. Um, we brought back the $100 challenge. And we we're probably going to start doing a $100 a week challenge here and there. We had to pause that. I'll get into all that later, but the cool part about this for all of us is we all feel like writers should make money off their work. Uh, for too long now, embedded in history, dude, there's this thing that, you know, the struggling artist, popper with the dream, forget all that. It's ridiculous, especially nowadays. I'm not going to get into, you know, all the Instagram and uh, whatever, all those apps and the talent it doesn't take to make it. Um, it's, it's crazy to me subjectively, but also just it's reality. I think writers have been underpaid through all remember time. So we're working on finding a structure here on the app that will get writers paid just to write a poem. And I don't want that to be, none of us want that to be motivation to write. And I'll tell you something, as a paid writer myself, it feels pretty damn good to wake up and know that the coffee you're drinking 
or the whiskey you're shooting comes from your brain. And uh, it's flattering. It's humbling. And so I think that with prose, the idea was always for a subscription-based app to fund writers, you know, and we're getting there. We have more and more to do. Um, we have an open road for the first time since the app started. And we're all pretty, pretty jazzed about what's going on. We're stoked. So um, that's about it. I'm going to link those two writers in the description. And of course, the website for the app, if you're new to it. And I'll put a description to my channel, if you're interested. Uh, and I'm going to basically be trying to come on here um, every morning, most much as I can, starting not next week, but the week after, because I have to, uh, you know, let my, I have a side hustle, a real job too, to pull in that extra, you know, annoying edge of money to pay everything. It's just, it's, it's God awful. But here's the thing, the road goes the other way. So we're hoping that with this new push of ours with the app and your support as far as being on the app and pushing other writers. And what I love about um, all of you on the app, I see it constantly is the seasoned writers, the veterans are constantly lifting up the new blood. They're edifying them. And I wonder if it's like that through all the arts, if it's pervasive. I know on prose, I see it all the time. And it's just, uh, it's so, um, it's so good to see that in 2022. Anyway, I ramble, but I also, uh, I also love this app. And uh, I'll be back probably, well, soon. I'm going to reconstruct the newsletter for everybody. I guess the last one didn't send. My fault. I'm not a, I'm not tech savvy, um, but I'm learning. So I hope this video was fun for you guys, and I will be back as soon as I can get back. I'm hoping um, we can make this, like I said, normal. So every single day, we have something to offer, something new. So thank you for being here, and we'll see you soon.